Look at this beautiful before and after. The before, pretty good eyebrows, but after, what I want you to see that the arch is a little higher up. So how do you do that? How do you make it look natural without putting too much effort? Well, this is the video for you then. So stick around and I'm going to show you how to do just that. Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, your brow expert. Thank you so much for joining me. So like I said earlier, the uh, brow arch is something that we're gonna work, work on today. And it's a quick little tip and lesson as to how to make the brow arch a little bit higher without looking overly done. I've been with Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, gosh, over 25 years. So I have, I'm still there, by the way. I'm still shaping eyebrows. So some of you guys are new. Thank you for joining me. I have met some of you and it's been a pleasure. Thank you for trusting with the eyebrows. So yeah, brow arch. Um, there are so many areas of the eyebrows that we find to be a little bit difficult to do, right? And some of you might be used to using pencil. You want to maybe try the powder. This is a brow video for you as well. I'm going to uh, show you how to hold the brush, how to use the powder and make the most of it stick around and I will show you guys how to do a brow arch with the powder and brush. So I'm showing you both brows, but I am going to be just doing one of her eyebrows, especially because um, I think it's a good idea to see the difference as the, the one that's done already looks like. So the one I'm uh, doing is a little bit actually naturally lower. I find that that can be a little bit more difficult. My left eyebrow is naturally lower than my right. So what I did was always make a mark, right? Because you guys know by now that it's about measuring and making your mark to make the brows look a bit more even. And it just makes the application so much easier, right? So the pinch of the nose is right here, right over here. That's the nose bridge right here. And I always say over the pupil, because if I say iris, it tends to be kind of in the middle, over the pupil. Now I'm using the darker shade color. I'm using the ash brown, but I'm gonna use ebony here because it's much darker, but just off the screen, I just want you to see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna make that mark as, well, first as I'm, now you can see the mark on her, right? Because you saw that earlier, right? So right over here, over the pupil, I think you could see me doing this right here. Okay, so I obviously know where my arch is now, by now. And you guys will too. The more you do this measurement and, and place that little mark, the more you're just going to get used to knowing just where the where the um, the arch is, right? So you don't have to worry about that all the time. Okay, so you notice where the brow brush is. It's not right up in the front. That white mark, that white outline is showing you that typically I think we tend to just go right up in the front and start doing this. Um, just go in the kind of the front middle and then towards the end. So it almost looks like, I, I often say it can look like a kite right at that arched area. And that's something to kind of like visualize. Certain things help me to visualize and like that corner kite is a good way to visualize it. You know, if it doesn't work for you, then don't worry about that vis visual, visual, how do you say it? Visualization. <laughs> trying to say that word okay so right here the reason why i made that little mark and make that little half an inch arch mark because again you start at the front middle not all the way to the front and then just go right over and then towards that upper area you notice that i'm laying the brush down i'm not holding it this way and then lay it down this way okay so now looking back at the model notice that i'm dragging the brush down this is something that I really want you guys to try to start doing. When you drag the brush down, as you can see right here, you're kind of just filling inside the eyebrows without putting a lot of effort in just rubbing the brush. And it almost kind of gave a nice full coverage already. Now, keeping in mind that she does have hair all the way around, it's just not thick and full, right? So that's what we're trying to create is that fuller brow, but mainly to just kind of enhance the arch because it was a little flat. And this side of her eyebrow is the same as mine. It's just naturally lower. So I'm putting more focus and going a little bit higher. Um, and it just looks really pretty. Don't worry, we're going to do the front. Now, whatever's left on the brush, that's where you just go over at the front. You don't want to grab more color because I often like the front to be a little bit lighter. And the brush is really doing a lot of the work. As you can see right up here in the front, it's just going in little circles, just light little kind of brushing over the front, like just brushing, you know, what I mean by brushing, I mean like just light little strokes, 
don't forget, I'm putting it on my forehead here. So that's what I mean by you don't want to just press really hard up in the front. So let's do me. And I'm just dragging the brush when I, again, drag, drag, drag. But using that mark as the first touch and then dragging the brush down. But right at the end, I'm not dragging too far down. I'm keeping it just further out. Remember, this side is naturally lower, so you don't want to drag the end too low because then it's going to drag the uh, brows back down. Okay, and up in the front, now I am right-handed. I'm doing this side of the eyebrow. Look at the way I'm holding the brush. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm kind of holding it this way so I can still see what I'm doing. And I'm doing the same thing I did on her, just kind of rubbing the color lightly. If you press hard, you're, you're taking away the integrity of the sharpness of the brush and you're just putting too much on, right? But keeping in mind that you didn't get more color off the powder. You just ha uh, using whatever's left on the brush and just kind of circling around. Now my, my brows are already looking very full. <laughs> okay, so the highlighter is always gonna be a good idea. I use an eyeshadow base in this case, it's a Pro Pencil. And I'm using, uh, it only comes one, two, and three on her. I'm using one like myself. The brush 18, always have that with you because it just cleans up any mess, right? Because there's always going to be some messes here and there. But um, so you're looking at your eyebrows and you're thinking, well, you're looking at mine going, wow, it's really full now. Uh, this is where you can really add that extra shape. And so if it's too low, if it's too thick for you, this is when you can just kind of add that little extra shape above above as well. Don't forget that if it's uh, if it's something that you really want, you could just see just putting some color, me putting some color up there. It really makes a big difference. I also like to have a clean spoolie brush on hand just to kind of blend the colors in. And don't forget, just because you've combed up the hair and you put the highlighter and gel, that doesn't mean you're entirely done. Only because when you, especially after you do the gel, sometimes the hairs can move around, right? And then that's when you're like, oh, I, look at this beautiful before and after. So good. And you saw that earlier, right? Um, what I want you to see is that, yes, you see a little bit of where the powder is. And that's partly because of the lighting that I had on her. But um, when you, if you looked at her, you would see that, wow, it just looks fuller. The most important thing is that the front of her eyebrows, she's got a good amount. So the rest, when I made those adjustments by putting that color, um, I just, it looks more, how do you say, it looks more believable, really. So I'm just kind of cleaning myself up here. And look at this. I mean, this is done. This is not much fuller, but it still works. You don't have to go this full. This is why I say you can use a little bit of that highlighter and just kind of clean up some of the areas where you feel like maybe it was a little too full. But you can go as full as you want just to see if it balances with the rest of your face. That's also important. In this case, it balances, right? It, it, goes, it goes with um, her eyelid space. It just looks like it makes more sense. And the other side of the eyebrow that I did not do, just so you know, it's naturally higher, especially up in the front. So we didn't have to put that much, but definitely still an arch. So that's what this is all about is applying the arch. And you know what? You're going to want to tune in next week because there's a similar video that I'm going to do that I did today. But with that one, it's going to be with the pencil, not with the powder. So if you're if you're like, you know what? I still like my pencil. How do I do this arch with the pencil, not the powder? That's where you want to stick around and, and well, come back, not stick around. Come back and see me doing the arch with the pencil. So what did you guys think? Did you feel like this brow arch is something that you can do? You want it a little bit higher and this technique has definitely opened your eyes. So like I said, you want to uh, come back next week if you want to do something similar like this, but use a pencil. And I will mention again all the products that I used today in the descriptions below, but they will be tagged as well, which does help me if you want to quickly tap the screen to purchase those items. So yeah, I hope I covered all that. So again, use the comments to ask me anything that I might have left out or you're looking at the video going, mm, did she talk about this or that? And that's what the comments is about as well, because I will try to get to as many as uh, um, as they come in. So thank you for your time. And I hope you learned something. And again, let me know if you did. Uh, I, this is all about the shapes, right? This is why I made this channel to help you guys with the shaping because it is the most difficult thing. So again, I will see you guys right back here. Thank you.